Hello and welcome to another HTML tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to concentrate on how you can convert your HTML4 pages into HTML5 pages. HTML5 is much structured HTML than HTML4. For every section of the page there, uh, there is a name. For example over here if you can notice that we have HTML at the root we have a doc type before HTML and by the doc type I can easily see that this is XHTML transitional and then there is a there is a title to the page and inside the body I have a heading and I have a paragraph so if I look at the output of the page this is how the output of the page looks like if I were to transform this into HTML5 the transformation is quite logical we're gonna have no impact on the output of the page it is just the way things are structured on the page as I said earlier HTML5 has a greater emphasis on the structure of the document every little portion in the page should be called by a name for example in the good old ways of HTML4 whenever we would create anything or any portion or a section on the page we will going to call it a div let's say in HTML4 if you have a navigation going on you're going to call it a division and in that division you will going to have a bunch of tools a bunch of uh, links external and that will going to build your entire navigation that's that's basically how typically HTML4 did things HTML5 does not do it very differently but it has a little bit structure to it so just to show you an example of how the structure will going to look like so right now it is very much similar to what you have been seeing and you will going to be seeing the similar output as I transform this into an HTML5 document so let's get started HTML5 first of all says instead of you having to remember all this long doc type all you need to tell the browser is this doc type of HTML that is an indicator that this page is HTML5 you don't need any of this anymore HTML tag is good enough now coming down to the head nothing changes it still remains the same way what majorly changes is the body HTML5 divides up the body into five different portions we have a header portion, we have a footer portion, we have a navigation portion, we have a section where most of the meat or the contents of the page go, and we have an A side portion, which is generally for the side information. For example, in some of the websites, you might have noticed that they display some quotations on the side, or the ads run on the side, or something else goes on the side besides the navigation. So they have a special portion for that. So if I were to take this page and literally logically divide this page according to HTML5 standards, let me make some changes here so that you can actually see that we are looking at the new page. First of all, we have a portion called header, where the header information goes. And this is a specially designed logical portion. And as I'm going to be sharing the output with you in just a little, a little while, you're going to be seeing that there is no difference in the output. The only thing is that HTML4 changed to HTML5. The other portion it introduces is called a footer. So I'm going to add some footer information. and you will going to notice that it just goes in the footer of the page towards the bottom it just simply displays a plain text no special difference with the logical structure then if you want to put these links out here you can actually use a special tag called nav which is short for navigation and after I save my changes you can see that there's no difference in the output it looks exactly the same and this bottom portion is part of what we call a section of the page section of the page now since a section of the page could have several different sections because you do not want to put everything flowing together in one big place so what HTML5 does it allows you to divide your sections into what it calls article so we have an article tag which lets you divide your section and you can have as many article tags as you may like and once again it's just a logical distinction 
Here we can see in the output that it simply just displays a bunch of paragraphs. And then you can be controlling the properties of these articles, section, navigation, header, fur tags, very, very much through your CSS properties. And of course, as we will going to explore CSS3 properties, then you will going to be able to see uh, how, what other cool things that you can do with the help of that. And then you have the A side, which is another one which basically goes like this, A side, and it closes as A side. And once again, by doing that, there is no physical difference. It's just a logical structure. So if I have a paragraph here, some A side text, then it just simply flows in the body. However, I could be using some special CSS3 properties to make it look like a side section. But this is once again a logical transformation of an HTML4 into an HTML5 document. Once again, to recap, we changed the doc type. We removed the XML namespace from line number three. And then coming down to the body, we divided the body into five sections. Header, where the header of the page information goes navigation where the page navigation goes section which is further divided into articles a side and the footer hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial catch you in the next one thank you for watching